Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. I just received this laser engraving machine from the folks of Algo Laser. It is the entry level model of the three models that they have in their catalog with a power of 5 watts. I heard very good comments about this machine, so in this video I will test it out. This brand has three models of laser engravers. The DIY kit, which is the one in this video, with a power of 5 watts. It is the entry model of the brand. We also have the Alpha model with 22 watts and also the Delta model, also 22 watts, but with more advanced features. Here we can see some of the characteristics of the machine. The optical power, as we mentioned before, is 5 watts and the total machine power 72 watts. This large power is provided because according to the web page, the laser can be upgraded with two units, one of 10 watts and the other 20 watts, which will be available soon for purchase. In the box we find the user manual, it is in English, and this consumables package, this is some basswood for engraving and here we can see the different parts in order to assemble the machine. My first impression is that it is a quality machine, the different parts feel sturdy, strong, actually they feel heavy, which means that it is made with quality materials. I will not show the assembly of the machine, for that you can check the official video from Algo Laser and also a very good video from Frank Williams where the assembly is explained in detail. Both videos I have the link in the description of this video. Here we can see the assembled machine, it is not difficult at all and it took me a little bit more than an hour or and a half to finish. You only have to be careful when assembling the control unit to the frame. It has two screws and the manual says that you have to use these long screws, but if you use them, the screw is too long and you can damage the internal PCB of the control unit. Instead, you need to use these other smaller screws, they are provided. However, for some reason the manual still says that you have to use the longer ones. The work area is 40 by 40 centimeters, but you can upgrade the machine and buy a new frame which is 40 by 80 centimeters, double the size. Also the laser which is 5 watts, as we mentioned before, you can upgrade with a 10 or 20 watts unit. Okay, it's time to test it with some engravings and cuts. Okay, so let's try to engrave this image that I took from the internet. The software that I am using is Lightborn. The machine can also work with an app that you can download from Algo Laser but it is very limited. Instead, this software lets you play with every parameter of the machine that you can imagine. So let's see.
here is the final image. As you can see, it is very pale. So I made another run with a higher power of the laser and slower engraving speed. Here is the second image. It is much better as you can see. Let's try first with thin plywood. This is 2.5 millimeters. Okay, so it's a very clean cut. This was uh, two passes at 90% laser power and a cutting speed of three millimeters per second. You can do it in one pass if you slower the cutting speed. Let's now try with MDF. It is also 2.5 millimeters. However, MDF is more dense than plywood. In this case, we also have a very nice cut, except for this little bit when we still needed a little bit more depth. Same parameters, except that this time I used three passes. I also tried to cut 5 mm MDF, but without success. That is double the size of this 2.5. MDF. Even using 10 passes, it was not able to cut the whole depth of the material. Let's now try to engrave glass. Here I have this piece of glass. However, since glass is obviously transparent, we need to apply a coat, thin coat of black paint in order for the laser to do its job. Later, we will remove with some solvent.
So this is the result. I like it, even it is only the outline of the numbers. Of course, you can fill for a better effect. And this was done at 3.5 millimeters per second and 90% laser power. So there you have it. After making these little tests, I am very pleased with the machine. The whole process is very easy, even for a beginner like me. Of course, 5 watts of power is a limitation. If you want to cut thicker materials, you will not be able. However, as I mentioned before, soon you will be able to purchase the 10 and 10 watt, 10 watts laser units for better performance. That's all for today. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.